For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Ravi. In this video session, uh, we are going to see that how you can recover whenever you accidentally deleted some LVM or uh, this um, LVM data from it. So how you can recover that data. So uh, that's what we are going to see in this uh, video. So here you have to follow a few steps before uh, the data safety for your systems. So I su strongly suggest you that do not practice this kind of um, distraction systems or the distraction methods in any of your production systems okay so do practice this it only at your uh, home uh, are the lab systems are the test and development systems only not on the production systems uh, so i strictly suggest do not uh, do any uh, practice on the actual systems do at your home or on the lab systems that that requires maybe if it is delete no need to worry about those systems right so um, this is like uh, how to recover deleted lvm so this is the video concept and here how we can recover that so here basically i'm just going to show you that from the starting of the creating the um, pv vg and lvm and delete the lvm and how we can recover it so so here i'm just going to show you that this is the new disk which is attached to this vm and this we this disk we are going to use it and create the lvm and uh, delete it and recover it so how you can do that so first of all uh, go into the so i'm just following the lvm creation part little bit faster okay so in order to save the time so i'm just going to create the new partition here and the partition has been created i'm just going to change this uh, partition type so you can see that that is lvm and uh, part probe slash dv slash sdb and uh, pv create slash db one vg create vg vg zero and say that the pv name here So VG also created, LV create, iPhone N, LV1, and I'm just going to give the size. Uh, so this is going to be actually 10 GB in size. So I'm just going to create 2 GB LVM here from the VG0. So LV also created, you can see that there is a LV1 is created. I'm just going to use uh, xfs file system on this and lv1 so now that is formatted and just going to create the um, new directory and i'm just going to mount that uh, vg here dev vg0 lv1 to lv1 here and you can see that that is mounted here you can see that that is a 2gb in size so now i'm just going to lv1 here and create some files touch and test files maybe i would like to create some test 1 to 20 here dot txt files and you can see that 20 files has been created out of here i i just randomly pick one or two files and say testing lvm deletion something like this for just for data purpose i'm just going to create some random data in some of the files like this test uh, 
17 test 11 has been uh, just added some data here so now our lv is ready and vg is vg0 and lv is lv1 so here what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to delete that lv and how we can recover that data so accidentally i'm just uh, uh, deleting that so before that i just uh, unmount slash lv1 you can see that there is no lv the data is not mounted and i say lv remove slash dev vg0 and lv1 and uh, it's asking for the do you want to re really remove the logical volume say yes so lv has been deleted you can see that there is no lv you can just see that there is a vg but there is no lv in this so now my lv got deleted the data is gone then how you can recover this data so most of the times the vgs protects the lvs against the deletion by creating the archives so you can simply see that ls I have an ltr slash etc lvm archive is the path where that archive or data will be stored so these are the actual archives you can see that there is a date march 29 22 52 is the time currently so you can see that there are some data so you can see that right so this is the data related to this vg0 you can see that vg0 and there is some random name which is allocated here so i i can see that there is a data but how we can restore this data these archives so in order to uh, list out this one so how you can use that is that there is a command called vgcfg restore iphone iphone list and provide the vg name here so if you see that there are some archives with the details you can see that so uh, before creating the vg and you can see that before creating the lv before removing the lv after removing the lv there are some detailed archive numbers you can see that right so here which data actually you need so creating after lv remove so after will we remove no we don't need that right actually before executing the removing lv so this is what we required here okay before removing the lv we want to restore back so what you have to do is that you simply copy this file path so which is actually here the same name so 109 is the path so you have to copy this entire path and you have to restore it back using the vgcfg restore and iphone f provide the file path and provide the vg name so it will restore back to the vg and you can simply type lvs and you can see that there is a vg and you can simply scan for the lv and you can see that there is some difference in the lv right so these lvs are active but this lv is not active state so what you have to do you have to bring back that lv into active mode then you can mount it back okay so in order to bring that lv to the active mode you can simply type lv change iphone a y a for activating and confirmation for that um, path and provide this lv path and again type lv scan you can see that the lv is back to activated so now what you have to do you have to simply mount this uh, lv again back to the this lv directory and you can see that dfh and there is a lv is mounted successfully now let's go into this lv1 and see that there is a data is available okay now let's get this 17 file whether i have the data here oh god so my lv is got restored successfully and i could see that data is available on that 
LV successfully. So this is most of the times on a life saving or the data saving method. Um, some point of time if you accidentally delete some uh, LV is the logical volumes and you can still recovery. But there is a condition is that whenever you are deleting any LVs immediately do not change any VG status or do not inactivate the VGs or do not remove the VGs so that you can bring back this LVMs. So uh, whenever you delete the LVM and if you delete the VG also then there is in a less chances that you will get the data back okay so do remember that method here that whenever you delete the lv and uh, whenever you are example if you wanted to decommission some lvs logical volumes uh, that is a process sometimes you wanted to decommission some disks but what you can take the precautionary step is that you take the lvm back up first then delete the LV and wait for few days then remove the VG and PVs so that way whenever some some suddenly some of the day users say that oh I want the data some important is there I want to restore it back so that's why if you delete the VG then you may not able to recover it back there's a less less chances that you will get the data back uh, that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching stay tuned Please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses.